Here we go. The game's going to start. Lo-Fi, take it away. Absolutely. We get into the first kickoff here. Looks like it's going to go the direction of the Immortals. Now quickly turn around over to the Death Claws. Death Claws trying to get that first strike in early. Static says no. Now Shoe Bill's up, and he's going into it. Shot goes on, but Akai is able to make that save. Challenge in the midfield by Blocky. He's going to go in favor of them, but unable to make the check. The touch is Asuna. Now Shoe Bill trying to change it around here. Static's up for it. Static's going to be able to put it back towards the midfield. Gagabi's going to get another touch. Touch back towards his teammate potentially, but Blocky says no. Blocky trying to set up his teammate. Now it's going to go towards the center. As soon as up for it, he's going to put a great shot on. A dangerous one at that. And now, as soon as has put his team up early and Deathclaw's strike first. As these two teams are filling each other out, Asuna makes a nice touch. Nice little bit of finesse right there and uh, the defense not back in time. Yeah, great angled shot there from Asuna. Makes you wonder if we're going to see more of him. He only has now two goals on the season. So hopefully we see some more representation out of him as the time goes on and as the series develops. But Asuna trying to make another thing happen for his teammate. Shoe Bill is up for it. Shot goes oh, just wide of the net. And that two to nothing lead might just be able to be a little bit edge up over the Immortals. Immortals got to strike soon because this Death Claws team is really turning out to be a great team. Yes, and that was great placement right there by uh, the Death Claws to get that in there because two people were stuck on the wall and they, they got caught, unfortunately, in a bad position. Static is going to get this and hit it to the opposite side. Gogby going to get underneath it and get a good touch underneath. Blocky and Gabby fighting in with Asuna trying to get it. Oh, a nice devastating uh, demo. By, sorry, by the Death Claws. I actually didn't see that coming. Gabby trying to keep, take control. Getting it over Asuna. Shoe Bill 15 with Aki. Static can he get in front of it. He gets. He doesn't get demoed and gets it above, but Shoe Bill able to take control. Getting it into the corner for Gabby. Hitting it right to Blocky. Shoe Bill with a pass, but he's going to get deflected. That was a little bit dangerous. This is, things are getting out of lot of control, and Asuna's going to get it home right there. Nice way to take control. Awesome goal right there by Asuna. Yeah, Asuna's playing really well right now. He has two goals in this one game, um, and that doubles his total amount of goals uh, and puts him at three goals on the season now. Uh, and even though the Death Claws have the lesser record, the Immortals mm. are going to strike there, but the Immortals are 3-1, and one, and they just look very desperate to change things around and that kickoff goal might just be the momentum start that they need uh, to really bring themselves back into this game. Yes, it's right. Uh, you, you never know what happens off kickoffs. Plenty of time, 2.28 to go. So, like I said, uh, feeling each other out, this game is pretty exciting so far. Gogby's going to go up for it. Not really get the touch he wants. Asuna with a great hit. That is in. Don't have to worry about it. Sit back and relax. Mm. Everybody... This is my first time saying this on match day two in season 13. Everybody take off your hats. As soon as got himself a hat trick, <laughs> that's three goals. As soon as playing out of his mind, he's got three goals and two saves. And we're just a little bit over halfway into this game. Yeah, Asuna is shining. He's like, whenever we get people on stream, you never know who's going to uh, show up and let everybody know that they are ready to be here. And as soon as definitely, definitely one of them as this actually gets deflected towards, but goal, but Shubal's going to take control, get demoed for his troubles. Aki with a nice attempt, and Asuna there to get that away. Static keeping it in, but Shubal again with a great, great hit out. Static, not the hit he was looking for, although now he's keeping it in front of Blocky. 
Aki actually hitting it above goal. Nobody there to help out. Gagby trying to keep it in. Static even in there. They've got a lot of momentum here. Asuna with another great clear. Blocky trying to drop it down to Asuna. Didn't quite end up the way he was looking for. Aki getting in front of Shoebill. Static hitting it towards the corner. And it looks like uh, Immortals will have a little bit of offense going. Let's see if they can uh, get into it as the Death Claws get into the Immortal Zone. Yeah, the Death Claws oh. looking comfortable in the offensive uh. end, and Blocky just puts mm. another one away for them because of that. Now it's 5-1. to one. Shubel, a great pass off the corner. Blocky able to put that one away with ease. That's the open net, basically. And this 5-1 to one scoreline is just mm. a mountain to now mount for the Immortals. Uh, it's quite the climb if you're on that side of the pitch here, but not impossible. Oh, but no. they got to do it soon. Another oh. opportunity here comes for the Death Claws, but it gets turned away by uh, Static. Now Godby trying to turn things around in the midfield. Another touch there by Static, and it sends it into the end of the Death Claws. Now Static trying to set up his teammate. He's going to go out to the mid, but as soon as it's going to be there to meet it. Now Blocky trying to turn things around, put it in the way of the Immortals. He's going to be able to beat one. He's got two more to beat. He puts the pass towards the midfield, but a challenge there by Static says no. Shubel, a great infield pass. The shot comes, oh and Asuna puts that one away. Asuna is all over this goal right now. Who else? I don't, I mean, it's... Words. No, nope, I don't have much meat words because Asuna is all over the place. We're we're starting to forget names of other people as uh, the game goes on. <laughs> 46 seconds, 6 to 1, and uh, they're all over. Four goals, six shots. Mm. Asuna is working his tail off on both sides Another of the one? pitch. Four goals and three mm -hmm. saves. Another one there, almost. Great shot opportunity there. And the death clause, I, I don't want to say it's over yet, but I mean, 6 to Ooh. 1, it's over. But Gogby's trying to put that. Uh, put me to shame there in saying that and trying to turn things around. It's near desperation time, but 30 seconds left and four goals. You know, y you wonder if it's too late to start this comeback. Probably too late to start the comeback, but you've got three more games to go. So uh, every little bit counts to get some momentum in your favor, at least to, to know that you can do it. You want to build that confidence as Blocky can't quite get around that dangerous, dangerous play. Aki is going to hit it towards the other side. A little double commit in front of Asuna. Blocky and static 50. Gagby going to try to take control. Getting it over Asuna but Shubil is going to take control of that after Gagby and Asuna went away from the play. Static centering it to Blocky who's going to pass it to Asuna. Blocked by Aki and this is going to end it with Static going to try to flick it in. Do a little drag and <laughs> and they do nail it in. <laughs> did that go in? Mr. Lofi, did you please tell me? <laughs> yeah, so that was a great just keeping it up dribble oh. there by Static. And then because of that, he was able to get underneath of it again when it's on the goal line and sets his partner up really <laughs> nicely there. Uh, six to three is the final score line. That's not exactly how we were expecting it to end. Mm. You almost wonder if the Immortals are going to be able to take this momentum over into game number two. Uh, but with Asuna on the other side of the field, I am scared for the Immortals because look at those stats. Almost a thousand points in his first game. I mean, that's insane. Yes, very insane. And uh, what they don't have to worry about is possibly making a substitution as uh, a pretty big scoreboard or uh, spread on the scoreboard there. Six to three. You never know what the decision is going to be, but they are rolling, and especially with Asuna. But if you notice, Shubel and Blocky played very solid games. They just didn't get the glory off of the goals. No, absolutely. I mean, you got Blocky down there with a playmaker. You have Shubel with two assists and a goal. So they're definitely on the pitch. They're definitely doing work. Um, and this Death Claws team, you know, their 2-2 record doesn't necessarily speak for how they're playing right now against this Immortal squad because they are just crushing it. And I'm really looking forward to getting into the game, too, and, and really seeing what these two squads are going to be able to bring for us uh, as time goes on. Like, game one, we always note uh, that is normally a feeler game, uh, mm -hmm. but the Immortals, towards the end of it, were definitely picking up the pace. They were definitely trying to keep themselves in it, and because of that, they changed a 6-1 deficit to a 6-3 deficit with two goals coming in that final minute or so. Uh, so I'm, I'm really hoping that they're able to continue this momentum into this second game and we get much more... Uh, of a more like a battle of attrition game versus let's just see who can get more uh, get more shots on and just really start sniping these goals and really start getting a little bit more active in the midfield, I think, uh, is what the Immortals need to do to change this around a little bit.
Yeah, this is going to be an interesting uh, interesting game. This will really set the tone for the next two, as Shoe Bill's going to keep this in. Locky looked like he might have thought about going for that, but uh, does not. Shoe Bill's going to actually make a play on it. Aki into Asuna's... Gogby's going to miss it. Asuna almost made another goal. We would have had to say the name again. Like normal, this is going to try to make it normal for the entire rest of the game. Blocky going to try to keep it in. Can't make the pass. No touch. Aki getting away to Static, who's going to try to take control. Winning the 50 to Shoe Bills, and Aki's going to get in front of this one. Actually, a shot on goal here. Blocky with a nice save. Asuna can't get it around Static, but Blocky and Shoe are there to take control. Aki hitting it across the other side, and it's going to land on the ground. Got me with a pass, or a hit off the back wall. Tried to self-set up, couldn't quite get it in. And it kind of looks like, to start, uh, the Mortals have a little bit more offense. As, uh, unfortunately, I didn't mean to say anything, and I did. I think we need to stop me talking, because whenever I... <laughs> uh, take it away, Mr. Lova. It's that... that Famed caster curse coming to bite us once again. You know what? We promise you that we are not trying to do this on purpose, but Blocky sent that one away in the death clause and now find themselves up early again in game number two. Um, but the Immortals trying to turn that around. They take possession of it pretty early in the kickoff. Another opportunity comes. Static's putting it down. Gogby can't make the shot, though. Uh, Akai now trying to center this for his teammate. Now Gogby up for it at the midfield. Shubo's going to be able to turn that one away. It's going to go down the way of the Immortals. An opportunity comes. Static turns that one away. Shubo re-centering it. Another oh. shot by Blocky, and it goes in. The assist from Asuna. <laughs> and here are your death claws once again. Just striking. Just They're striking first. They're striking repeatedly. Uh, repeatedly. They're striking fast. And each one of these goals that they shoot, or each one of these shots that they shoot seem to result in another goal. It felt like Blocky stole the... Oh, never mind. Okay, I can't say much. It felt like Blocky stole that goal, but as soon as he gets it right back, so it's almost like it didn't happen in the first place. Blocky gets his uh, his stat, and as soon as he gets the goal he was looking for, three nothing with three thirty five. Um, as soon as all over the place. I don't. There's not much else to say about as soon as gameplay right now. Blocky's gonna hit that off to the side. Static and Blocky with a fifty. It's a uh, sets there. Asuna trying to get in there. He's bullying Godby out of there. Shubal taking control, getting it off the wall, can't make a pass. And Aki going to try to take control. Instead, no, Blocky getting in front. That's a center. Nobody going for it. That ball is just going to chill with Static taking control. Shubal actually deflecting it off of Static's car, getting it into the corner. Aki missing it. Asuna taking control, and now we got to wait. Asuna missing the flip. Blocky centering it up to Shubil, who can't get in. Nice double save by Aki and Gagby. And uh, it seems like a little bit more of you know, the inevitable when it comes to Asuna when he takes control of that ball. Yeah, de definitely. But the Immortals are still fighting tooth and nail to be able to try to get themselves on the board. Uh, they really need to pick up the pace, especially in the mid midfield, and really clean up these defensive double commits. You know, I feel like they're definitely costly for them. Um, and why they find themselves uh, really Ooh. fighting for their lives when the Death Claws are on the offense. Now Akai trying to set up his team to get them on the board. But again, it's turned away early by the Death Claws. I believe that was uh, Shoe Bill followed nice up by pump. Asuna. But it gets put back into the way of the Death Claws. Static trying to set up his partner, but unfortunately nothing comes of it. Now Asuna gets a great clear towards the midfield. Shoe Bill's trying to continue that, but he's unable to. Gabi 50s in the middle with Blocky. And now the Immortals are getting a little bit more looks on this offense, uh, offensive mm -hmm. side, and they're looking a little bit more solid as they settle into game two. Uh, but again, you wonder if it is too late against this highly, highly aggressive death quest. Yeah, and Asuna's leading the charge. To be honest, they, Asuna kind of dictates the game mostly. And I, I, I feel bad saying, oh, there's a nice hit right there. Goes off the crossbar. Can't quite get it to go. Shuba with a nice clear off of Gogby's attempt at a dunk. And as soon as going to clear it into the corner, a counterattack possibly. Hitting it towards center to Blocky. Blocky has a great chance on it, but a good save by Gogby. Again, Asuna keeping it in he, all over the place. Shuba with an attempt at way wide right. And uh, this is going to be... A little bit of a reprieve. Nice deflection into Static. Asuna with a little bit of save. Shubal's going to get in front of that guy. We can't make that attempt. And uh, yeah, they're putting on a lot of pressure, but 
that counterattack is so dangerous and it really reduces the momentum when the Death Claws have that opportunity. As soon as it's gonna get it, nobody back there for the Immortals as Aki gonna take it away. Blocky hitting it off ceilings. Static getting it towards Death Claw. Can't make anything. Gogby missing it. Maybe a fake. Aki wide right. Gogby gonna try to make it, and that was a pinch that didn't get there. Pass by Aki to Static, and Static able to send it home with 36 seconds to go here in this game. The Immortals have found themselves a goal. They've found themselves getting on the board, and mm -hmm. once again, they do it late in this game. Now, you wonder if they turn it around a little bit earlier, would they be able to be a little bit more in this game? It is three to one, so it is still possible with time left on the clock, but mm. just the offensive pressure here by the Death Claws has just been so consistent and so accurate that it's just drowned out the Immortals from being able to break out and make these counterattacks, but they do find themselves here once again on the offensive, but just the Death Claws have been able to turn away opportunity after opportunity and make those saves, make those clears, make those touches to be able to turn away the Immortals. But they do look better, once again, in the second half of the game, just like they did in game one. As the clock it ticks down, and the second goes down to one second, we get extracurricular activities. A shot I'm opportunity assuming. comes, but sh they're going to be able to shoot that down and kill it. And the Death Claws take game two. Yeah, I think to Asuna, even though that the sort of the goal wouldn't have mattered, uh, I think Asuna had two saves at the end. I'm not sure if they counted, but those were two at least blocks prevent preventing anything else to happen all over the place. Blocky and Shuba playing actually really good games. Blocky getting the assists from Asuna, uh, landing at home, and Shuba having a few chances of his own, but playing some, I would call, team defense, uh, letting Asuna dictate the game. And I, I think I'm going to start getting sick of saying the name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, man. As soon as it's been fun to watch, I, I really yes. like the way that this Death Claws team as a whole is shaping up. Uh, it's really exciting to watch them just do work over in the offensive side of the pitch and really just break down this defense that the Immortals are trying to uh, show off here. But uh, both teams having a, a relatively similar amount of shots, but it's just the oh, sorry. quality of shots that are going to be able to um break down the defense of the immortals versus just the sort of lazier kind of pot shots uh that we are seeing from the immortals the immortals look better in both games in the second half of the games you wonder if they turn it around or if they keep this momentum here and start out stronger uh in the first half of the game if we're gonna have it uh not only a, a better game out of the immortals but a tighter game overall uh the score line definitely looked better for the immortals in the second game compared to the first uh, as it was 63 versus three to one. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping the Immortals are able to find it. And they're gonna be able to get the, this uh, momentum breaking game from the Death Claws. But an opportunity comes, but it's gonna be turned away by Static. Static is a great demo there. And he's gonna set up Gogby, but Gogby can't make it. He's gonna go for another demo here potentially. And Nakai is gonna set up his teammate. But as soon as it turns that one away, and he's gonna be able to get another follow up touch for his partner. But a static in the midfield is going to change so that one back in the way of the death clause. Now Akai trying to continue that. It's going to go out to the wall. Gogby in the midfield is unable to make that touch. As soon as able to turn it away. And static, once again, lots of action going on in the midfield. Kind of like I was saying that the Immortals needed to do uh, to be able to break down this death clause and really to be able to compete with the death clause uh, in this game three. Yeah, so far they're actually playing really aggressive. They're kind of going a little bit more after the ball. Uh, not quite as spaced out as they were in the first two games. A little bit of a double commit here, uh, but uh, definitely looking like they are aiming a little bit more to keep that ball on the opposite side as the entire time as opposed to spurts, because that's kind of what they, they need to either slow it down a little bit or get even faster than uh, the Death Claws, and that doesn't seem like their game. Their game seems to be methodical. And as long as they can stay in the right positions, I think they can win this game. Uh, but they can't miss touch. Ooh, that's something like that. They gotta, they gotta rotate a little bit better. And it seems like they're panicking a little bit too much too. A little bit sloppy on the goal line means that they get a goal scored against them. An unfortunate touch there by the defenseman, and Schubel is gonna get him a stat because of it. Now it's one to zero. But this is the first time that we have seen the Immortals be able to go a full minute and a half without or nearly a minute and a half 
without the death claws striking uh, early on in the game. Another opportunity comes, but that's going to be turned away. Now Akai trying to change things up in the momentum of the Immortals. Now it's going to go off to the corner. Static is up for it. Static's going to put it off the backboard. Nobody's there for it. Akai off the backboard once again. Is it going to be a shot opportunity here? Gogby's going to yes. be able to finish it. And the Immortals tie it up. And this is the first time that we have seen them score relatively early in the game. And now we got a tie game for the first time in, uh, I think, the entire series. So, Gogby, great shot. Akai, great pass. And Immortals... Great opportunity for yourselves. Continue this momentum. You might find yourselves uh, a little bit more comfortable on the scoreboard. Yeah, they stayed inside the offensive zone pretty much the entire time. Nobody really went back, and it paid off right there because they kept Deathclaws on their heels or their brakes, if you will. And, uh, it de again, definitely paid off, and I'm, I'm glad to see a little bit of fight in them. Definitely. I mean, they've had fight in them the entire time. It's just it, this Death Claws team has been just unbearable with their pressure. Now they're trying to get another opportunity here for themselves to try to get the lead back. Uh, but yeah, they've been turning away the shots a lot cleaner here, and they've been able to capitalize off the of counterattacks and off of passes here a lot more so. Um, I, I believe that uh, this Immortals team is definitely warmed up at this point. They're definitely feeling themselves a little bit, and, and because of that, we have a very tight knit game. Mm -hmm. And there's a Suna, not the a great, great hit, but definitely a dangerous one, keeping you honest, because uh, that was one of those, if I wasn't paying attention hits, that was going to sneak in. Shubil and Gavi meeting, and we're still seeing the Immortals being a lot more aggressive than they were last game. That could be a nice pass. Aki didn't get the touch he wanted, definitely was looking for a goal right there. Gavi keeping it in, another pass to Aki, couldn't quite get it. Gavi going up for it. And it's going to the other side to Static, who's going to try to center it. Aki keeping it in. Can he get another touch on it? Does. Can't quite get it over Asuna. And went uh, one by Gogby. Now oh, this is going to stay in the corner here. We're going back and forth. Playing some good, good offensive pressure by the Immortals. Yeah, definitely a much better look to them this game. But then in the game's prior, Static's going to be able to try to get the lead here as he's trying to make a counterattack here. But a great shot opportunity, blocking with an insane redirect. It just goes off the crossbar. And Gogby's going to be able to turn that attack away. Now Gogby trying to set his team up. The Immortal's going to be able to get a passing opportunity here. Static's going to be able to continue it. Akai is up for it. It goes off the crossbar once again. Both teams finding the crossbar. And that crossbar fourth man coming in clutch for each team. Now as soon as trying to turn it away. But Akai is going to be able to turn the pass. Or into a shot, actually, off of that. But as soon as going to be able to carry this momentum over into the end of the Immortals and block, he gets a great shot. And now two to one for the Death Claws. Nice follow by Blocky Asuna again everywhere, but Blocky going up with a nice finesse touch. Uh, Static doesn't look like they they missed. Had a little bit of a miss jump at the end, but a beautiful play and a great setup by Asuna. Yeah, Death Claws find themselves up once again here late in the game, but we know that the Immortals are notorious for striking later in the games too. So it should be a late, uh, this should be an interesting final minute or so to watch uh, from both perspectives. Not that the earlier four minutes have been uh, dull by any means, but this is where the Immortals seem to shine. It's in the finals minutes Ooh. and Akai is going to be able to attest to that as he's going to slot away a great shot here. As the missed touch from Asuna goes to the midfield, and he gets a great aerial touch there. Oh my goodness, mm. what a shot, Akai! Mm, I don't think no, I don't. Nobody saw it coming. Shubil didn't see it coming. They uh, they took advantage of a miss hit, and that is going to keep them in the game. And you're right, they have seemed to have the momentum at the end of all the games. You don't want to have them hanging around, especially at a two to two game. We know that the Death Claws have a great offense, but the Immortals start to bear down and build that wall a lot stronger as time clicks down. The Immortals Sorry. are definitely a late team game, but a slip up there gets Blocky a goal, and now Deathclaws are winning 3-2. Uh, the mm. one goal deficit can be broken, just 15 seconds left. So a little bit of a miscalculation there by Static. He wasn't expecting uh, uh, Blocky to be there to be able to slot that one away, but I mean, the Death Claws look solid here in the late game, too. You know, it's it's really back and forth this game. This is what we were hoping for and what we were expecting. An opportunity here, but Shubil turns it away. Uh, oh. Another opportunity. Akai's going to center, and it's going to yes. be in by Gogby, and now we might have an <laughs> overtime with just six seconds left in regulation. Yes, and there it is. That was a great... Look at that beautiful hit. Don't care about that double commit. That is uh, one of the few times it's okay, especially when you scored that goal. 
Lovely, lovely hit. Great, great play with six seconds to go. The Immortals are notorious for their late game oh, oh. opportunities. And another one comes because of it. Static's going to be able to put it off the backboard. Yeah. Another backboard, a crossbar touch oh. here now. It gets turned away by Asuna, and it's going to be able to get another touch in the corner. Now Blocky up in the corner with it, and he's going to be mm. able to touch that one down. And overtime, number one of the series, here we come. Oh, yes, that was uh, that was intense. I like that. I, I kind of actually thought that was going in. Great defense, no panic by the Death Claws. So... You can see why they're a tough team right off the start as they're going to center it. Can Gagby get there? He does. Just in time, Shubal going up, trying to dunk it. Didn't get the touch he wanted. Static taking control. Actually bumping Shubal out of the way. Gagby not going to get over Asuna. Can't get control. Locky and Static. Static actually winning two of them, but Asuna going to keep it into Immortal's territory, throwing it into the corner. Missing that one, and Gagby getting it around Blocky. Straight into Aki, who's going to throw it on goal. Can Gagby get the redirect? He does right to Aki. Aki can't quite get there. Didn't have enough boost. What an attempt right there. And uh, we could have had a game winner, but unfortunately, not quite what you're looking for. Gagby, ooh, that could have been a little bit of a dangerous pinch as well. And it looks like the Immortals are going to try to take control in the offensive zone. The Immortals looking good late game, and they're also looking mm. really good in this overtime as they've got a lot of pressure. They've had most of the pressure the entirety of this overtime as we're just over a minute into it. Uh, the Death Claw is almost desperate to break out of this pressure that the Immortals have generated, uh, but the entire squad of the Immortals looks solid now. They look like they're ready to play. They look like they were wanting to play like this from the start, and we have a 3-3 game because of it, and now... Akai is going to try to set up his teammate up. It's going to get past Blocky. No, he's going to be able to turn that one away. Now Gogby and Static both up for that one. Blocky's going to be able to put it out through the midfield. And Gogby's mm. going to challenge a great challenge there, but 50 doesn't really go anywhere. Now a flick over Akai by Shoebill. It's turned away by Static. Oh. It's going to go off the backboard. Akai is there for He's going to put it over to the corner towards Static. He's going to be met by Blocky. Blocky puts it back towards the center. Gogby's up for it. He's going to put it back out towards the midfield. And a little bit of relief here comes for the Immortals. Now Blocky's going to be able to try to continue that. That's a great 50 there by Static as he keeps it in the midfield. Now Akai trying to put it back over towards Static. Static doesn't quite make his touch, but Akai generates that over towards the corner. It goes in the center, but nobody's going to be able to capitalize off of that pass. Gogby once again in the midfield. The Immortals looking solid in their midfield game uh, really these past couple minutes or so. Yes, and uh, Suna looking like he wants to make a play here. He's starting to play a little bit more aggressive, as you can see. They're able to get around him, but how much longer is that going to last? Aki trying to get a deflection. Asuna is actually going to hit that shot on goal. Gogby and Aki can't make that, and there you go. Aki was, or uh, Asuna was getting a little bit aggressive, and unfortunately, it kind of looks like the Immortals started to get a little bit uh, double committee. They kind of landed it into the wrong spot, and Aki looking like kind of canceled that almost. Disaster strikes for the Immortals. Not what you were wanting to see. The Death Claws coming mm -hmm. up in clutch in that overtime. The Immortals working so hard to force that overtime, getting that late goal uh, with just six seconds left to forcing that overtime. But unfortunately, they're unable to solidify that uh, win as Death Claws set themselves up for a potential sweep here. Uh, Death Claws have looked insanely solid the entirety of this series. Uh, Blocky coming away with that MVP. Asuna's got two MVPs. 500 points coming out of two players over there. Um, the points across the board do not speak volumes for how well these players are playing. Static down there at 207, but so many times we saw Static be able to turn away uh, some great opportunities with just simple 50s up in the midfield. And, and, and because of that, you know, it was a much, much closer game. Yeah, I agree that uh, the game... For Gagabi played a very nice game, but Static was a very big, uh, big, very big key of, in the center field. A lot of fifties keeping them in. He his uh his aggressive play kicked up a notch, especially this game, uh, game three. Looks like they're keeping the same exact team. So I look forward to them maybe playing a teeny bit more aggressive because they're they're playing strong throughout the, this entire series. Definitely. I mean, Immortals have definitely woke up. They look like a better team. They look like a completely different team than we saw in the first couple of games. Um, and they're looking to really just turn things around, avoid this sweep, 
um, and really come out on top here early, but a lot of midfield play here, and now the Death Claws are once again on the offensive, but it gets turned away by Static as soon as it's going to try to be able to 50 or pinch that with Shoebill. Sorry, no, Gogby out towards the midfield as soon as they're going to meet it. As soon as carrying that over in towards the Immortals' end. Now, turned away by Akai. Blocky's going to be able to put it right back towards the Immortals' end. Now, Gogby up for it. He's going to be able to try to set up his partner and get some great extra touch. Another one comes from him, but Shoebill turns that opportunity away. Now Static up for it. Static's going to try to put it off of the corner wall. It's going to go straight down for him. He's going to try to get another pass off of it, but not going to be able to do so. Asuna now over on the left side. He's going to get demoed. A great demo there. Shoebill now trying to make this happen in the midfield. A great opportunity comes because of it, but Kai turns that one away. Kai trying to get a shot opportunity there. Static's unable to get it. Just Blackie with a save. Now another one coming. As soon as getting that save, shot by Godby and Static, another shot opportunity. Close gets right off of that right post, and the Immortals looking solid on the offense right now. I I agree. Uh, some dangerous, dangerous plays here by the Immortals, just not quite getting it where they need it. This is uh, definitely keeping the Death Claws on their heels, but they have a great done a great job of counterattacking throughout most. And as you can see, some of these hits right here are definitely planned. Death Claws very aggressive. Uh, but the Immortals are easily keeping them on their heels, and that's one of the reasons why, with 323, no one's scored yet. Good defense by the Immortals and good offense by the Immortals has kind of kept the uh, Death Claws from getting into a rhythm and getting this game uh, opened up. Yeah, I mean, you find both teams playing solid on both sides of the field, and so that's why we're at 0 0. You know, we've got so many plays being developed and then turned away. Uh, really early on from really any team trying to generate any sort of momentum here. So it's looking like a little bit more back and forth here as opposed to just one-sidedness that we were seeing in the first two games from the Death Claws. The Immortals last game seemed to have definitely felt themselves a little bit more mm. and another opportunity there gets turned away by a demo from Asuna. But the Immortals have definitely looked better in these past two games than we have seen them play in the first couple games. And now we see why they have this 3-1 to one stat uh line in their uh window loss ratio um a little bit of miss opportunities here or there but overall really really good solid team here from the immortals um and now they find themselves competing with the at once think uh unthinkable and unbeatable team out of the uh death clause so immortals great job of adapting great job of really trying to turn things around for yourselves and now we've got three minutes to play without a goal and akai says we're gonna score before that three minute mark to make you look silly but the Immortals find themselves up against the Death Claws for the first time in the series here in Game 4. Yeah, great placement by Aki right there. I love how they did the hook shot, getting it nice and easy. Shubil had uh, almost no chance, had to guess it really correctly to make any sort of play on that. And like you said, the uh, Immortals are concentrating. They're a lot more sharp. They're a lot sharper, I should say. Gogby trying to get it in there. Asuna with another great save. Still over the place, but we haven't called the name in a long time because of how how much... Oh, that's off the ceiling. That's dangerous. Blocky with a great save as well. Gogby keeping it in right to Static. Static, not the touch you were looking for. Could have had another goal as the counterattack. Aki missing Asuna. Great save by Gogby. It was, again, Shubil turning the wrong way and unfortunately hitting it back to his corner, maybe trying to give his team a little bit of time to get back. Baki with a center towards Asuna, met by Gogby. Shubil hitting it towards Immortal's corner. Aki with a great touch, going to the opposite side. Static, oh, with a blast, but it goes completely haywire. That could have been an absolute amazing goal. Asuna, wide right. Aki trying to take control, missing that one. Asuna on target, uh, Gogby there, Aki deflecting away from Blocky, and uh, Immortals playing great defense and great offense still as this game continues to go on with under a minute. Nobody back, but this is going to go wide left, and uh, I think the Immortals got away with one right there. Yeah, I definitely agree there. They did get a little bit there in favor of themselves, but another opportunity here comes for the Immortals as they're in the offensive mm. again. Gogby's shot goes a little bit wide. Kai trying to 50 in, the, in there, and Gogby's going to be able to get it shot on goal because of that 50 and Akai is going to be able to give him a self assist and now the Immortals find themselves up by two late in this game. I told you they were a late team or a late game team and they're just proving that here in the game four. Yes, they uh, they have shown they might have a recipe for success here. Maybe as long as they can get their engines going a little bit faster, maybe a little bit, maybe their RPMs 
running, running a little bit, a little bit quicker. Uh, they're showing that they can hang, hang really well. This is not a game where like they're getting lucky here. They're playing really good team defense. They're not double committing as much. And then their offense, they're being much more aggressive. They're not leaving the zone when they think they have a good opportunity. An attempt at blocky with a, a pass, but Gogby uh, turning it away. Three seconds, two seconds, that ball's gonna get touched. Is anything gonna happen out of this? A student keeping it up. Nobody, static, Shubel getting it away. Shubel's keeping it up, static keeping it up. <laughs> I love it when they play this type of volleyball. We used to play this one as kids, keeping it off the ground. Everybody knows this, Asuna getting it away, and that's gonna land, and the winner is Immortals. How did you feel about the end of that series? Oh, the Immortals definitely looking solid in that last game. They avoided the sweep because of it. Both teams looking really, really solid early on in the season, and I'm excited to see more from both teams as they develop throughout the season. Uh, Gogby earning himself an MVP, 545 scoreline there for himself. One goal, one assist, three saves, so he gets a, he gets a savior medal. Uh, but yeah, great play from the Master Tier all around in this series. Absolutely. This was a, I'm going to, even though the Immortals won that game, I'm going to go back to Asuna playing pretty much some beautiful, beautiful ball led pretty much led the entire series and, and dictated the speed until the Immortals got their bearings and caught them late in game three and then really took control in game four. So they have a lot to look forward to. Even though they were uh, one, one and three today, they do have a lot to look forward to, especially as the death clause is if they keep winning games, you're going to see how good the Immortals really are. Oh, yeah, definitely. Asuna MVP there. Uh, but we're going to take a quick 30 second break.